Hi, I'm Patrick Capiello, wine director at Gilt Restaurant. Today we're going to talk about how you swirl your wine. So, one of the most important things when it comes to swirling wine is not to overfill your glass. It's an error that I see people make often. And uh, once you do that, you give yourself a higher risk of spilling out of the top of it when you're swirling. So, a smaller pour is a better pour, especially if you're an inexperienced swirler. Another tip that I give to beginner swirlers is uh, keep the foot of the glass on the table or on the bar where you're sitting. And uh, if you grab the stem almost like a pencil with your, uh, with your finger and your thumb and just draw small circles on the table or on the bar, that's the best way to, to really get a feel for how it works. And the more you do that, the more you kind of get the vibe for it. And, and as your experience gets better, you can pick the glass up off the ground and before you know it, you're uh, practically twirling plates on a stick. So the reason we swirl our wine is to expose the wine to the oxygen that's in the glass. And that brings out the aromatics of the wine even more. So if you ever just have a glass of wine that you pour it and just pick it up and smell it, you'll definitely smell something. But as an experiment for yourself, if you then swirl the wine and go back and smell it again, you'll notice that all those aromatics that you first sm smelled are exploding out of the glass. And there's actually even more intricate aromatics that you didn't notice at first that are there. It's almost using the glass as like a, a wine amplifier and, and that swirling really intensifies all that. Thanks for uh, joining us today. Cheers.